What's up golfers and welcome back to New Nine Golf. Today we have our hands on the Eyeline Golf Speed Trap 2.0. This is something I've seen on so many social media ads on Facebook and Instagram that I've been dying to try this thing out. I'm gonna get a little bit into the assembly, a little bit how it works, and then I'll take it to the range to see if I can hit a draw or a fade based on this training aid. Stick around for us and I'll show you exactly how it works. Okay guys, when you get the speed trap, it's gonna come in this nice little bag and it comes with instructions. Don't lose the instructions. <laughs> I've been reading this thing before we do the video and I can't wait to test this out that it tells you how to set up with these little tethers, how to assemble, how to use it. That It's instructions for a training aid. They're instructions for what you'd expect. As you can see, I have this thing already assembled. And so the parts that it came with is the fiberglass or plexiglass uh, speed trap board, comes with these red tethers and then these little, uh, I don't even know what the heck I'm gonna call this. It's like a leash so that uh, these things aren't gonna go flying into the guy in the driving range uh, in the stall next to you. The only annoying thing in setting this up is getting the tethers onto the leash, that it's a very hard foam. Like a, it's it's like harder than a, a Nerf bullet or I'm, you know, it's, it's just hard foam. And to get it to fit into the plastic holder was a little tricky, but we did it so you can do it too. Once you have the tethers hooked up to the little leash, there's Velcro on both the tether and the board, and this little leash will go into the slot provided on the speed trap. Now you're good to go. So if you're wondering why would I pick up a speed trap 2.0, well, if you hit a consistent draw or a consistent fade and you can't hit it the other way or you're trying to stop slicing or you're trying to stop hooking the ball, this is supposed to help you fix all of those things. That the only way to fix a slice is to learn how to hit a draw. Maybe you've tried a hundred times and you filmed yourself and you've had buddies look at your swing and you just can't turn the ball over, this is supposed to help. So now that I have it assembled, I'm gonna take it to the driving range and see if it works. <laughs> I wanna try to hit the fade setting, the draw setting, it also has a full swing, pitching, and chipping, that it is a pretty versatile training aid, and I can't wait to take it to the range and give it a try. Okay guys, let's head over to the driving range so we can test this thing out. Okay, we're ready to start hitting using the Speed Trap 2.0, but Eileen suggests before we hit with these red tethers on, we take them off and just get used to chipping and pitching with this plexiglass piece down. So we'll hit a couple chip shots, some small pitch shots without the red tethers, and then we'll put them on to see how we can start shaping the ball. On the Speed Trap 2.0, there's three lines for ball position. This yellow ball is for chipping, the red is for pitching, and the black is for the full swing. So as you're practicing, you can place the ball depending on the type of shot you're hitting. Now that we've got used to the chipping, we're ready to start doing some fuller shots. It says that we can put these two red tethers on to start getting a feel for hitting the ball with these things on the Speed Trap 2.0. There's a couple ways we can attach these tethers. With them pointed outwards, it's supposed to be the easiest, that they're not close enough together, that it should be the easiest setting. You can also put them pointed backwards, which should be a little bit harder. But because we're new to this, we're gonna start on the easy setting and we're gonna put this little leash in so it doesn't fly away if I so happen to hit it. Okay, we've done a couple swings on the easy setting. Now we're gonna change these to point forward, which should give us a little bit of a smaller gate to hit through. Okay, we're gonna add these other two red tethers to the Speed Trap 2.0, and you just gotta pay attention at where these guys are pointed. So it's really good to reference the instructions that they give you to make sure you're setting up the fade or the draw properly. Okay, we got all four red tethers onto the Speed Trap 2.0. Looking down at it, it's very intimidating, and I'm very self-conscious of taking it too far from the outside, too far to the inside, falling through too far out. So this is again one of the straight settings that I'm interested to see if I'll make contact with my first swing. That was legit the straightest shot I've hit since being here. So I was so conscious not to hit those. I didn't even think about making contact. I was just trying to purposely avoid those red tethers. And that was the straightest shot I've hit. So, so far, so good. Okay, I'm gonna try to aim somewhere in between that sand trap and green flag, but I have no clue where it's going. You tell me. Hey, 
Hey, if you made it this far in this video, just hit subscribe. What are you waiting for? Okay, we're ready to start trying to work the ball. So let's say you have a terrible slice and you're always hitting it if you're a right-handed golfer from left to right. The Speed Trap 2.0 lets you set up to purposefully hit a draw. So they say the best way to cure a slice is to learn how to hit the draw. So I've set up the Speed Trap 2.0 on their draw setting to see if I can start turning the ball over. Okay, you can see on the back left part of the Speed Trap, I have a ton of room now that we've removed that red tether. And on the front right portion, again, I have a ton of room. So it's promoting an in to out swing, which is the direction, being right-handed, to hit a draw. So let's see if I can turn it over. Snappy. So the swings that I took on the draw setting all went from right to left without fail. The thing that I can see being worrisome is that because there's so much room on the inside, you could possibly develop bad habits in just really trying to turn the ball over. So I would say work the ball within reason and really try to play to your weaknesses so you can learn to get rid of that draw or get rid of that slice that's causing you problems on the golf course. Okay, now we've switched the red tethers onto the fade setting. So now it's gonna promote that out to in movement that will help me work the ball to the right. Oh, shake. Since using the speed trap, and maybe if you've seen some of our other instructional videos with Todd Halpin, who's the PGA of Alberta Teaching Pro of the Year, he says there's no such thing as a straight shot, that you should always be trying to work the ball both ways. And I think this is a really good training aid to help you promote a draw or promote a fade, especially if you have one consistent ball flight. So it's fun to me on the range, and don't worry, you're gonna have a few shanks and a few miss hits because you're learning something new. Overall, I think it's a really fun training aid. So you might be wondering at home, what happens if you hit it? Well, let's find out. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Just one second. Ready, Fee? Thanks, man. Okay, and doing that crash test was kind of unrealistic because I wanted to hit this thing square and it went flying, it came off of the speed trap. Chances are when you're using this, you're gonna hit it a little bit on the toe or a little bit on the heel that it's not gonna go flying into the middle of the driving range like I just did. So thank God I didn't get hit by a ball, but again, it was kind of an unrealistic uh, crash test because I was trying to hammer this thing. So overall in using this, I think it's such a good visual aid. And I say that in one of my videos because I'm a really big visual learner. I imagine a lot of you guys are too. So to really see the draw or the fade setting, I hope it cures either your draw or slice. In wrapping up, this is definitely another win for Eyeline Golf. The Speed Trap 2.0 is a lot of fun to use and it's really gonna help you guys shape the ball. Thanks again for following the New Nine Golf channel. Make sure you follow us on Instagram at New Nine Golf and we'll check in with you next time.